Danielle again. I'm now going to tell you about the bottom the display at the bottom of the braille note. So below the space bar, yeah. there's a small strip of just blank space, and below that there's a little row of 32 little dots. They feel like little hard dots with slight little lines, like little stalks at the bottom of them, and they are cursors. So like you've got a mouse and you would perhaps click on a click on an icon or click on a highlight a little bit of text. These cursors basically highlight letters and blanks and different parts of the documents you might be navigating around, might be navigating around, which means that you can delete things and put spaces in or just make corrections. So if you set, type something and then you realise you had to go back and backtrack and change something, you could use those those little cells to help you find it. Below them, directly below them, is a display. It's called a refreshable braille display. And that enables, when you're typing or scrolling, whatever you might be doing on the braille note, the braille will pop up on this bottom of the screen. So it's like a braille computer screen, except it's not, you can't see it in print. It just shows up in braille, which is really fantastic. And it also means that you can just read what you're doing. There's a speech software as well so you can hear it as well so the speech and braille coordinating together this bottom if you scroll through do what you're going to do each time you press a button it will change it will change the, the display will change for you which makes things a lot simpler okay that's basically the braille, braille display cursor